My name is Rick Fassett and this is part 4 in the video series on how to understand and debug test coverage issues in the TESS and ATPG tools. Now I'll show a different way you can look at the test coverage data. Now if you're a visual person it sometimes can be helpful to look at things using vi DFT Visualizer. So if we open Visualizer and go to the test coverage data view what we see here is, all right, so we'll look through the hierarchy here. So we're listing all the hierarchy of the design itself, and we're going to list all the test coverage information. Now, in this case, again, you have your test coverage. Uh, we, we indicate what the test coverage loss is, the faults, and then we get into the fault categories here. So we can see AU is listed as well as the relevant coverage. Now, we don't have all the detailed breakdown here, at least not initially. But what you'll notice here is if you hover over AU, we actually give the little explanation. It's uh, the uh, A2BG untestable faults. But you see this little arrow here. So if we click on this, what this is indicating is that we can expand this out to include multiple subcategories. All right, so clicking on that, we're going to show that the AU breaks down into all of these subcategories. Now this is exactly what we looked at in previous videos in the command line re version of this in the statistics report. We have black box faults, EDT faults, pin constraints, tied cells, and unclassified. All right. Now you'll also sh see that there's another little uh, symbol here for the tied cell fault. And now if you click on that, what that shows you is that there's additional breakdown of the tied cell faults, all right? And it just, we add it to the listing here. So again, for the AUTC, we have all these various tied cells, TC1, 2, 3, etc. cetera, all right? That's shorthand notation. If you hover over each of the TCs, we'll give you the actual uh, path name to the tied cell and what the tie value is. Okay, and you can go on down the line. So what we're doing is just showing all the same details that we did in the statistics report, but now we're doing it relative to the hierarchy of the design. You can uh, do other things to, for instance, uh, if you click on one of these categories, we'll reorganize and reorder so that the most significant category will show the, the hierarchies reordered. So the most significant category under there is listed first. So you can see where the greatest test coverage loss is due uh, in that particular category. So that's one way to take advantage of all these subcategories and fault grouping um, in the hierarchy browser and, and look at it more visually and sort through. Now, for you can see down here we have some different tabs here. So that's the hierarchy of the design. You can look at the A to B G library. So now we're actually looking at some of the uh, test coverage information based on library cells here. Okay, but I think more, which can be very helpful, especially when you're just starting to develop library cells. You want to make sure that each cell is testable. Now, if you click on the clock tab here, this is essentially the clock domain summary information that we showed previously. So we're listing all of the uh, clock domains uh, and the faults uh, in those clock domains and then the coverage information. Okay, so now we can see kind of the summary information. Again, we saw that RAM clock is at 0% for test coverage. And if we want to get some more details here, we can click on here, adding faults by category. So now you can add in uh, all the fault information, there we go, uh, for the by clock domain. Again, uh, UO, detect by simulation, detect by implication, and so on. This is what you see at the top of the statistics report. And, and now we have the AU category. All right, again, you see that we have the arrows. We can expand this out. So here we are expanding all the AUs. And again, you can see that there are a lot of AU unclassifieds on that RAM clock. Okay, so this is just another way to use um, uh, another one of the tools to display the test coverage information. Uh, and you go about doing the debug in a very similar manner. It all depends on how you want to view the information uh, to do the debug.